Okay, spring tune-up on a Briggs & Stratton engine. It's a Craftsman machine with a Briggs & Stratton 6.5 horse. First thing we'll check is the air filter. Using a 5 16 nut drive, remove the screw, pull the filter out, filter's dirty, should be replaced. Filter that we took out, you can see it's very dirty and clogged. The new filter, the part number, right on the side of it, 491588S, made by Briggs & Stratton. Putting a new filter in. Resecure the door is tight. Next thing we'll check is the spark plug. Using a 13 16 spark plug socket, remove the wire. Okay. Remove the spark plug. Spark plug is dirty, should be replaced. Here's the new one. Number J19LM Champion. Next thing we'll sharpen the blade. Using a 916 impact wrench, remove the blade. Notice the edge of the blade is very dull. This needs to be sharpened. If you don't have the ability to sharpen a blade at your home, you can take this to a local hardware store. It should cost you about $10. Now we're going to reinstall the blade after the blade has been sharpened. Make sure your locking tabs, you catch the blade on the locking tabs. Next thing we're going to do is change the oil. First, before you start the machine, let's check the oil to make sure you have the correct level. Wipe off your stick. And you can see the full mark here, where the arrow is, in the serrated line here. So you put your dipstick back in. Pull it out, and you can see that the oil is is where it should be. Actually it's a little bit high on this one so we can run the machine to warm the oil up which makes it makes the oil drain out of the machine better. After about running the engine for two minutes when your oil is hot, remove the filler stick again, clean it off. Dip the machine. Into an oil drain. I'm going to add fresh oil. And in this engine here, most lawnmower engines will take 10W30 oil. This should take approximately 10 ounces from dry. You want to avoid overfilling by adding about 8 to 9 ounces and checking the level.
and you're right on the mark so this is perfect now start it up again engine for about uh, 30 seconds. Now I'm going to just double check the oil level. Right on the fill mark.